Here is a routine subdeltoid injection in a 67-year-old male. Um, basically, we just feed the needle right under the deltoid muscle into the subdeltoid bursa, which looks as basically like a little thin black line. But once you start injecting this region, you can see how it fills up with fluid, and then you have this whole space where your needle is in, and you can actually see your needle better. And if you want, you can actually advance your needle proximally up the subdeltoid. Uh. And if you want, you can actually advance your needle proximally through the subdeltoid bursa. Bilateral shoulder pain for four months, right side was worse than the left, no injury, pain with overhead activity, and initiation of physical therapy actually worsened his pain. X-ray and diagnostic ultrasound of the right shoulder were unimpressive. So here we are, we're anticipating with this injection, we're pushing with the needle cap, uh, upper right corner of the screen, and the structures are uh, subdeltoid bursa, deltoid muscle, supraspinatus tendon, all relatively normal looking on ultrasound. We're just going to try to feed the needle into the subdeltoid bursa. And here you can see the needle coming in on the right side of the screen. And it's really a very little sliver that you're trying to get it under. You don't want to inject it in the deltoid muscle itself. There's a thick band of hyperechoic tissue above the supraspinatus tendon. That's really the interface of the deltoid muscle with the supraspinatus tendon slash subdeltoid bursa. The subdeltoid bursa is essentially under that hyperechoic band. And it's essentially a little thin strip, usually uh, in someone that does not have bursitis. So here you can see we're injecting, we're filling up that subdeltoid bursa with uh, the injectate and uh, you can see how it's separating those two planes of the deltoid muscle uh, and the um, subdeltoid bursa and we're filling it up and then you can actually advance the needle proximally if you want. Uh, you really don't have to but sometimes I do just to kind of ensure that whatever injectate I'm administering will go proximally as well. And here you can see I was just spreading out nicely and over the entire distal half of the supraspinatus tendon.